Across the African continent, there's been a ton of myths circulating about COVID-19, better known as the coronavirus. Identifying what's fact and what's fiction can get confusing, but one thing's for sure, it's important to stay vigilant. That WhatsApp message from your auntie might not be true. Here's some myths to be aware of. Myth number one, vaccines. Across some French-speaking parts of Africa, rumours have spread that African people are being used as guinea pigs for a new coronavirus vaccine. This is completely untrue. Right now, although clinical trials are underway, no vaccine has yet been developed, let alone tested on Africans. Myth number two, shaving. The Nigerian newspaper Punch told its readers, To be safe from coronavirus, shave your beard, CDC warns. The CDC is the US Centers for Disease Control and in 2017 they posted this picture showing how some facial hair can make face masks less effective. The problem is the picture was not posted in response to the coronavirus. It was aimed at people wearing protective masks to work. In fact, having facial hair doesn't make you more likely to catch the coronavirus and the World Health Organization say face masks are only effective if you're washing your hands regularly. Myth number three, climate. Another popular myth is that Africa's generally hot climate will slow the virus. So far, evidence shows that the COVID-19 virus can be transmitted in all areas, including those with hot and humid weather. So it's important to take protective measures wherever you are. Myth number four is cures. Fennel tea, pepe soup and the tropical plants known as Congo Bololo have all been named as natural remedies for the coronavirus, but there's no evidence to show they work. And although scientists are racing to find a treatment for the disease, there is currently no cure. The World Health Organization says coronavirus has caused an infodemic of false and misleading information. Remember, the best weapons against the virus are keeping your distance from other people and thorough and regular handwashing.